In this video, we'll talk about obtaining a citation from one of our databases for an article that you have found. I'm currently in the ProQuest Central database. I have an article up on the screen. Off to the right-hand side are a few of my options, including the Cite option. Clicking on Cite will bring up this window here. This database defaults to the APA formatting, and currently in the box here is an APA formatted citation. I can copy this, drop it into my Word document, or someplace else if I choose. If I need to use a different citation format, the drop down here will allow me to change to a different format. Say I need the MLA formatting. I'll select MLA, most recent edition. I need to also click on the change button before I get the MLA citation down here. Currently, the citation is still in the APA formatting. I'm going to click on change now. And now I have an MLA formatted citation on the screen. I can copy this citation and drop it into my Word document or someplace else. A few comments about the citations from the databases. Firstly, don't just blindly accept these citations, but give them a quick look over. They're generally pretty good at generating in citations, but occasionally errors will occur. One of the more notable ones in the title of articles, and as well as the author, you might see that all in capital letters. If that's the case, you'll need to manually change the citation to reflect the proper capitalization, first letter capitalized in the major words and such, same thing with names. Also, the formatting. When you drop a citation into another place, say a Word document, you may not get all the formatting as you need it. The hanging indentation, where the second, third lines are pushed in, font style, font size, and such may not match the rest of your document. You will probably need to do a bit of formatting in that Word document or someplace else. I'm going to click Done. One other place to obtain the citation is through the emailing. The email link over here, we'll click on this, it'll bring up this window here. I have a number of options that I can use, but the important one here is bibliography. Checking bibliography will turn this on, and currently I'm going to send an MLA formatted citation along with the article. Again, using a drop down, I can change. If I want to say use the APA formatting instead, I can do that. Need to fill in my email address and my name in order to send the email. You may wish to change the title of the article, the subject, because the subject will be the same for each email you send, in this case your ProQuest research. Also, you can give yourself a brief message if you so choose to help remind you about anything important that you've seen in your article. The Continue button will send it off, and with that bibliography box checked, you'll also receive the citation.